السلام عليكم this is Elias Mrabit كاتيا ترينر and mechanical designer welcome to the second video of كاتيا advanced tutorials and how to make new features that help you to reduce time in design less time in design means more time for checks and development which means more money so the previous video was for demonstration I presented example of new features that are used on shafts we saw the flat the groove the keyway and the thread today we will take the simplest example and explain how to make it step by step so let's start the modeling by making a shaft we press the sketch button and we select any plane we draw an inclined rectangle we transform this line into an axis to complete the profile and here we have we have a simple cylinder so let's see the example how it works here as you can see the feature requires only two inputs the perimeter and the base and is driven by five parameters two for positioning two for dimensioning and one for repetition so here is the example so let's delay this one by now and we move to make our our feature we start by making the references first we insert a new geometrical set whose father is the part body in this set we will make a plane the plane is an offset from this base and we reverse the direction toward the shaft and we press ok here we have the first positioning parameter we move to make the second we make a sketch on the same plane we draw a line and we project the perimeter we transform the circle into construction element and now we can make the uh, geometrical constraints the first constraint is to make coincidence between this point and the circle okay and we make concentricity between this point and the circle we select both of them and we click on this icon constraints defined in a dialog box and we check concentricity the last constraint is to make an angle between the line and the vertical axis and here we have the second positioning constraint of the flat okay now we can move to make the flat we go to the part body right click and define it as in work object we go to the pocket command we press the sketch icon and we choose the same plane we draw an inclined rectangle again we project the perimeter we transform it into construction element now we can make the geometrical constraints we make this point as midpoint of this line we check midpoint and we make coincidence between this point and the circle we select both of them and we click on the button of constraints we check coincidence there is another way to make the geometrical constraints we click on this command constraint we select the first element and the second element right click and uh, choose coincidence the last constraint is to make a distance between these two lines which represents the depth of the flat we make three for example okay now we make the pocket we reverse the direction we can use this button reverse direction or we can uh, click on this arrow uh, to reverse it now we have one flat to make multiple multiple flights we go to the 
circular pattern we we'll click check if the object pattern is the bucket okay for the reference direction we select the surface of the flat of the shaft among the parameters we choose complete crown and we press ok okay here we have completed the modeling of the flat let's make some checks okay for example put the number of instances equal to three yeah we can make negative value of the pocket we can increase the depth okay the plane can be negative as well of course here the operation is unnecessary since the plane is outside uh, the shaft so let's make it positive okay and let's make this value positive as well okay we can change the angle to and make it minus 45 for example okay so the last check to make here is is to change the direction of the shaft we use the rotate command we uncheck uh, the duplicate mode we we'll press the first point and the second point anywhere and we can make the rotation and let's check if the model is functioning okay here the model is still working despite of the modification okay <coughs> so there is still one case to check we suppose if the user requests to make only one uh, one flat for example here if you put uh, one instance here what happens we got an error message because Katia does not accept uh, one in this field so the solution to this problem is to make a condition if the user wants only one flat we deactivate this circular pattern and we have only one flat so to make the condition first we create a new parameter of type integer we click on new parameter we may give it the name number and give it the value 2 for example then we make a formula between the number of instances we click right click edit formula the angular number is equal to this new parameter and we press ok here as you can see the number has changed according to the new uh, parameter number so I press ok so the second step here is uh, to make condition uh, to control uh, uh, the activity of this pattern so we go to start we go to knowledge where and we click knowledge advisor we click on this command rule and we press ok here the rule editor press enter and we can now write our condition we say if this parameter is equal here we got we have to make two signs to check the equality if number is equal to one we press enter then what what happens this feature is deactivated to make to deactivate it we go to this parameter of activity we double click and we make it equal to false this parameter is boolean so it it accepts only uh, the value false uh, or true else else means if the number is different from one else this parameter of activity control c and control v to copy and paste is true okay so we press ok and here as you can see if the number is different to one the pattern is activated and double click if the number is equal to one 
it's deactivated. Okay. So now we can uh, move to make the feature. So to make the feature, we go to this icon, uh, create a user feature. We click on it. Here we can change the name. Make it, for example, flat shaft. Okay. Here in this window, uh, Katia shows uh, the components of the flat, and here shows uh, the inputs. So here we have a first component. If we click on it again, it's uh, it's uh, subtracted. So to add it again, we click we click on it again. We want this component, the formula, the rule, and the geometry called set, the pocket and the circular pattern. Do not forget to add the sketch four, and we press sketch four to uh, to make it among the components. Now we can move to the parameters here, and here we are going to select uh, the parameters to control the new feature. The first number we check published here. The second parameter is uh, uh, to position the plane. So we published and we change its name to position. The third is the angle. We change the name to angle. The fourth is the pocket depth and is the length of the flat. So we call it length. And the last parameter is this offset, which represents uh, the depth of the flat. Okay. We press OK. Now we have a new feature with five parameters. So to, uh, to check if uh, the feature is working, we go to this black arrow and we select instantiate from selection. We, uh, we click, we select the new feature, the window appears, okay, we select for example the other base and surface and we press ok to see the result, okay, here we can make some modifications, we put it 6 for example, put the position 0, can make the angle 0. Length 50, depth 3, for example. Okay, you can by this parameter deactivate the feature if you want. Okay, so let's activate it. Okay, okay, we delete it for now. The feature is working. So, if you want to use uh, this feature on in other models. Uh, we open a new one, for example, I have this for the exercise. This shaft is made essentially by these new features. We are going to add the flat. So we go to the icon instantiate from selection and we go to the other window. We select the feature. We select the references the base first and the perimeter and we press ok yeah it calls the operation is unnecessary because the position is, is 20 so let's make it 0 for example and here we have one flat we can make it 2 if we want Okay. there is another way to use the feature is by this uh, other command which is instantiate from document in this case we have to save and close the document so let's save it okay and close it okay we press instantiate from document and we select the document containing the new feature and here we have to select new references 
and you can change the parameters as you want let's put it for for example zero here zero five and two and here we have four flats okay so now you know how to make new features and how to use them in the next video uh, we're going to see another example and I will show you how to save these features in the catalog and how to make icons uh, personal and customized icons like this one so uh, if you have any comments and or remarks or questions about this tutorial keep them uh, send me an email uh, or a message on my LinkedIn profile or uh, the best is to to make a comment so see you in the next tutorial salam